That is so fetch. of this puzzle Looked in your eyes Got in all kinds of trouble Sixteen days and I'll be leaving But in seven or eight I'll be screaming Hit the road and I hit it so fast My body moves on but my mind stays back Sixteen days and I'm still dreaming Give me something to believe in In the light, are you sleeping? Are you a sleepy little thing? Say hello. Yeah. Yeah. She was so sleeping on the couch. <laughs> I disturbed her. Yeah. Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. My name is Kaya. I am so happy to be here and so happy to be doing this video. <laughs> um, today, we're gonna talk about this little thing. I know, she's very, very tired right now. I just uh, wrapped up band practice not too long ago, so she's tired. I disturbed her, she was sleeping on the couch, but you know, we're just gonna, we're just gonna roll with it. <laughs> if you are new here, welcome. Give this video a like if you love Mill Miss Coda already. And please subscribe to the channel too if you wanna see more videos like this. And also hit that bell icon as well if you want to get notified when I post. Um, today we're going to be talking about Coda here, my sweet new baby puppy. Um, she is the newest member in my family. I'll leave a card up here. There you go. I'll leave a card up here of uh, the video I did on Spooner, my bloodhound. Um, he's now three and a half, which is crazy. Um, because I got him at a year old. So this is Coda. She's the newest member of my family, my little pup family. She is a Norwegian elk hound. And uh, I wanted to talk about her and share the story of how I got her and uh, just share some cool information about her because she's actually a badass. And, you know, from the Google research I did, um, bestie, it's really good. So without further ado, let's get into it. Barking <laughs> my kids. If you hear shaking or wanging or barking or anything, it's Spooner. So, or burping of the or yawning or whatever you're doing over there. <laughs> it all started November of last year. So I, I was thinking about getting a second dog. Um, I just had Spooner at the time and Are you done? I wasn't seriously considering it because in my lease agreement, I'm only allowed one pet. But I was thinking like, if I could get a second dog, like what kind of dog would I want? And I was thinking about getting a second bloodhound because I love bloodhounds. They're like my dream dog. Anyway, I go and visit my grandmother for Thanksgiving. And uh, she was like, you really should get a second dog. Like Spooner could really use a friend. And I told her, you know, I was already sort of thinking about it, but I couldn't have one because of my lease, the whole thing. So I end up coming back home and it's like some random 
Thursday night in December. It's fucking cold and I'm just at home in my jammies, chilling like a villain. It's 9.30 at night and my friend Sam calls me and she, you know, I don't answer. I'm like, oh, I'll just, you know, let it ride. And then she calls me again and I was like, ah, Sam, stop bothering me. And then she calls me again and I'm like, okay, three times is an emergency. <laughs> this is how bad I am at communication. <laughs> the third time's a charm, I decided to answer the phone. And uh, I'm like, hello, hi Sam, how are you? And she's like, hey, so I rescued this dog off of Craigslist. Can you please watch it for one night? Um, and tomorrow I'll take her to the dog park and see if I can get somebody to adopt her. And I was like, okay, yeah, sure, just bring her over. So he brings her over and it's this little gal. And uh, at the time she was three months old. She was quite tiny, super fluffy. Oh my God, I lost my balance. A bit traumatized, very shy, confused, didn't really know where she was. Um, and you know, my friend Sam's like, I'm gonna go to PetSmart and get some stuff for her real quick, just watch her. And she was just in my living room, hiding underneath my easel in there and uh, just very timid. I finally was able to get her out and like hold her like I have now. <laughs> and uh, she just like melted into my lap and was like so cozy. And uh, you know, she was like, is it okay if you watch her? And I was like, sure. So I watched her um, for the night. Next day rolls around, Sam picks her up at 10 because she will not stop crying in her crate. Now keep in mind, I didn't think I was gonna be keeping Coda. I was like, you know, I've never had a puppy this small and I was trying to work and she was just barking and barking incessantly in her crate. So I called Sam and I'm like, please get her early, please. <laughs> so she does and uh, you know, I meet her at the park and she's like pushing the idea that I should adopt Co like Coda and she was like, you know, like if I was ever gonna give my friend like a free dog, I would totally give you the free dog. <laughs> and I'm like, I can't have a dog. Like she's really great. Let's try and find her an owner. Well, <laughs> well, see how that worked out. <laughs> so Saturday rolls around. Um, I end up taking little Miss Coda Q to the park with Spooner and I was kind of floating the name around of Kodak and my my friend Sam was like you know if you name her you're gonna want to keep her she was really really wanting me to keep her and uh I was like no 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 like I can't and finally I was like maybe you know by Saturday I was like I kind of want to keep her like she's really cute you know she was starting to grow on me and uh so I called my landlord at the park on Saturday. I was just like, she's this young dog. She came from a bad breeder. I was fostering her for a couple days. I really, really think I could give her a good home. And I am wondering if I can keep her. And my landlord is so cool. She literally was like, yeah. She was like, you know what? Spooner needs a friend. And uh, all you have to do is just give me this like, $200 pet deposit and send me a photo. And I'm like, oh my God, okay. So I text her a photo, I Venmo her the money and Kodak becomes mine. <laughs> but now she's Koda. So it wasn't until after I did like some more research on her that I like actually found out how cool of a dog she really is. So I knew she was a Norwegian elk hound. My friend is like, she loves dogs almost as much as I do, and if not more, but she knows a lot more about breeds and she knew that Coda was a Norwegian elk hound. So I'm gonna put some pictures of screenshots I found up on the screen as I'm reading some of these facts. If you are curious to do some more research on your own, I'll link the, uh, the links. I'll link my research down below in the description. Um, if you want to do some more research yourself. So she's in a regional account, like I mentioned, and they're nicknamed the dog of the Vikings. The elk hound served as a hunter, guardian, and herder since at least Viking times. Bones 
of the Norwegian elk hound date back to as late as 4000 to 5000 BC. If you're wondering what a Norwegian elk hound is, it's actually a type of spitz dog, um, which is related to other breeds such as huskies, akitas, and Nordic elk hounds. Very distinct features are their pointed ears, curled over flat tails, and very thick durable coats, which are really good for harsh winter climates. Norwegian elk hounds are some of the oldest dog breeds in the world. They're actually considered an ancient dog breed, which is really cool. The ancestors of elk hounds have been found buried in Viking burial grounds. This is their Norwegian name. And the English translation is Norwegian moose dog, which is curious because Norwegian elk hound, they don't hunt elks and they're not really a hound, but they were bred to actually hunt rather large game in Norway and Scandinavia. So big game as in like, we're talking reindeer, bears, wolves, moose. So a little bit more history about the elk hounds is that they actually came to England in the late 1800s and started to become bred as domesticated pets. Um, and they were recognized by the Kennel Club in the year 1901. Unlike the Bloodhound, which Spooner, he is built to track scents. That is what he is mostly for. Otherwise, Bloodhounds are kind of useless, <laughs> if I'm being totally honest. But they're very, very good at tracking things. It's, that's why they use Bloodhounds as cadaver dogs, search and rescue, that type of thing because they can track a scent for miles and miles and miles. Elk hounds are bred to keep these animals occupied. And one of the amazing things that I've actually seen that is just like programmed into Coda is she weaves in and out of Spooner's legs, in and out of the legs and bite the knees and keep them occupied. It's a very interesting tactic that she uses. And Spooner is so much taller than her and has very like long lanky legs so she just like weaves in and out of his legs biting his knees and uh it confuses him and i can imagine like how it would confuse like a moose or a reindeer as well and it's a very interesting like instinctual predatory way of her even though she's just playing it's a really cool thing to just see her do she looks so comfy. So Norwegian elk hounds are actually endangered now. Um, and there are only 4,000 left in the world, um, which is very sad because this, this little girl, <laughs> not only is she adorable, but the Norwegian elk hound is the national dog of Norway. And they're super popular in Norway, understandably. And um, they're just beautiful dogs, but because that sort of sport of um, hunting bears and wolves and reindeer and moose isn't as popular anymore. Um, so says the research. Their breed is just not being bred as often. But there's only about 4,000, which was, it blew my mind because it's like, how did I get, <laughs> how did I get one of these puppies? How did I get one of these puppies? My friend, found this breeder on Craigslist and she was promoting Norwegian elk hound puppies. Now, if you are getting them from a breeder and you're not using them as a show dog, from my research, a puppy for a Nor the Norwegian elk hound puppy is anywhere between 18 to $6,000. And this woman was only selling them for a buck 50 and like literally not literally a dollar fifty, like a hundred and fifty dollars, which is crazy cheap considering how rare she is, <laughs> which is what you know alerted the red flags in my friend. So you may be wondering, well, Kaya, is she actually a purebred like Norwegian elk hound? How do you know? Well, I actually got a DNA test on her through her pet insurance and found out that she is in fact 87.5% elk hound. 
So I think the other, what is that? 13% or so, 12.5% is um, spits like jeans. You want down? No, my arms are starting to hurt. <laughs> She's literally a Viking dog. Like her ancestors sailed ships with Vikings and then like was with them. She was literally with them in caves. Her ancestors, not her. But I could totally see her hanging out with uh, with some Vikings, couldn't you? So she has this like mohawk. I wonder if you can see it. Yeah, there you go. <laughs> she has this little mohawk. It's pretty freaking badass, in my opinion. You're like, yeah, Kaya, great. It's a dog, I see. Well, you know, just, you have to be able to appreciate the little things, you know? You're going to see a lot more of her because she's only five months now. And I'm hoping one day I can just like have several dogs. That's kind of like my dream. But I wasn't planning on keeping her and all of a sudden I have a second dog. And I think it's so weird. This is why I love the power of the universe because it's those weird synchronicities that you get sometimes in your life and I was literally talking about getting a second dog not really considering it and then like a week later here I have a second dog so I will link my sources down below on more um, information on their behavior as well as shedding so like socialization and different things like that um, if you are watching this video because you're like interested in actually getting a Norwegian elk hound, I encourage you to do your research. They are um, very, very special, special dogs. And because they are rare, I am definitely going to be breeding her um, when she becomes of age, which I've never done before. So <laughs> I've never done that before, but definitely going to film that process. Who knows? you know, but I think that her being a mom, oh my God, can you imagine? Like, I don't know how many puppies they carry, but I would assume it's close to like seven or eight. I'm already having trouble caring for like one Coda. Oh God. But yeah, anyway, I will leave those links down below in the description if you want to know more information. Again, do your research. They're very, very special dogs. From what I know, just in the two months that I've had Coda, here are some things that she's like. So, she, you know, they say that Norwegian elk hounds are a lot of energy, and maybe it's just because she hangs out with Spooner a lot, and Spooner's like, so lazy like she's she can be lazy oh absolutely she can be lazy uh, she loves to go to the park and like run around and play she does play with Spooner but you know she's just as lazy as him I haven't seen her be overly hyper to the point where I'm like oh my gosh it's too much so the other thing is that I I'm just gonna be honest I hate the sound of her bark <laughs> hate the sound of her bark it's very very loud it's ear piercingly loud it's not like a chihuahua chihuahua ch chihuahua chihuahua it's not like a chihuahua but it's definitely loud and high pitched um because you know she's bred to be a hunter she's bred to be a guard dog a protector so honey if you hear that in the middle of the night you're waking up some people. But then I guess you could say the same thing about a bloodhound. So shedding, she doesn't shed very much. Um, she's extremely food driven, extremely food driven. I've never seen a dog who like literally eats everything in her path to the point where it's like, I'm constantly having to pull out mulch and moss and twigs and Oh my god, my arms are so sore from holding her. <laughs> I'm sorry, I had to put her down. Don't be mad at me, YouTube. <sighs> my con washed the heck out. So, food driven. She's super, super food driven. Um, 
I swear I walk into rooms and she's just like eating random crap all the time. Other than being kind of loud and um, being very food driven, she's extremely cuddly. She's really small right now and loves to be on my lap, cuddled up in this tiny little ball. She loves to be held. She's a bed hog, okay? An absolute bed hog, worse than Spooner, which is crazy because he's like 90 pounds. But bed hog, absolute, like, she'll shove me and I'll have like this much room and I'm like, girl, like, you're not even 20 pounds yet. <laughs> um, other than that, she really loves to be close to family. She's very cuddly, very lovey. Um, very, very confident, alpha, dominant, like curious. And it's, it's awesome to see because when I first got Spooner at like a year and two months, he's very timid, very shy, even still. Um, and he's kind of always off on his own. Um, but more so because he's like shy, whereas like, Spooner's like shy and socially awkward like seeing him at the park sometimes is hilarious but then Coda is so confident and just like struts up and she's just like doing her thing just like no care in the world she'll like walk up to dogs walk up to people and like just she's super confident knows what she wants total alpha which is definitely something that if you are going to get a Norwegian Alcount they are alphas they are very dominant so you have to make it known that you are the master of the house otherwise they will control your whole life <laughs> and i can totally see how that could be because she is super dominant over spooner already and uh she has no fear and it's very it's very cool to see she's a total badass but yeah, that is uh, just kind of an update on my beautiful little dog, Coda. I am so happy that she's a part of my life and a part of my home now. And I think it's still crazy that I was thinking about having a dog, another dog, and the universe is just like, here, take this one. So I really do believe that I am meant to have Coda, that I am supposed to have Coda. And I'm really, really looking forward to spending my, like, life with her and some time with her. They do um, live to be 12 to 15 years old. Um, so says the research, which is awesome because Spooner will be, he, their breed usually taps out at 12 at the absolute max. So, um, you know, I got them at a perfect age. If you want my advice on like when to get a second dog, I think it's always when your first dog is at like three to four years because then you get this little puppy and they can learn from your older dog who's still young you know now Spooner is like in his adulthood now um still very much hilarious but <laughs> I'm very excited to see how they develop and grow together and uh, you'll definitely be seeing more of them so if you haven't already followed me on Instagram, please do. It's at imakaya. I'll put it here as well as down in the description below. I have tons of photos of my dogs on there and uh, I love to just share photos of my dogs and share different songs from my playlist and all kinds of different things. So feel free to go and check out my content on my Instagram. If you liked this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you liked this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up. And I would love to hear about your dogs or other pets in the comments below. If you have a cool fact about one of your pets at home, I would so love to hear about it. Um, so write your commentary down below, subscribe to the channel if you liked this video, and I'll see y'all very, very soon. And before I leave also, reminder, I'll have my sources down below if you want to check out any more information about Norwegian elk hounds or if you're interested in possibly adopting one, check out the links down below. There'll be more information on there. And if you have any other further questions about Norwegian elk hounds or um, how you can get a puppy, just 
message me down below. So I'll see y'all very soon. Thanks so much for watching and I hope wherever you are, you are safe, you're happy, and you're healthy, and I'll see you soon.